So when do you know when to change batteries? So when you turn on the camera, if this light either blinks fast like here, so blinking fast means error. A lot of times uh, change of batteries will fix it. And if the light doesn't turn on at all, that means the batteries are completely dead. The battery compartment is on the side of the shutter button. To open this battery door, you have to push on the door down and then pull down. So push down and then pull like this. And then you will see the two AA batteries. So now I'll take out the old batteries. So you take them out, you just kind of slide with your fingernail like this and then take them out. This is the plus version of the batteries, which I think are like the more premium ones, but any of the alkaline batteries should work just fine. Now we are ready to load the batteries. So you have to observe the polarity of uh, the batteries. So here it says the plus should go here. So this is the plus side, sliding like that. And then on this side, the plus is on the bottom. So the bottom goes like this. And then all you have to do is to put the battery cover back on. And then when you turn the camera back on, you can see the light lit up and everything is just fine. I don't have any film in the camera, so nothing will come up. So which batteries do I recommend? Based on the comments of my viewers, the Duracells work the best, but also I good luck using rechargeable batteries. So I used the analog batteries uh, for a long time. Uh, I had good luck with them. I know they have lower voltage than uh, alkaline batteries. So rechargeable batteries have 1.2 volts, uh, alkaline have uh, 1.5 volts. Uh, another good type of batteries are the Amazon basic rechargeable batteries. So also a good luck with the IKEA batteries. A little pro tip is when I use uh, batteries, when I get them out of the package, I write down the date on uh, when I start using them. So I know a few years later uh, how old the batteries are. So the Instax cameras seem to be pretty uh, power thirsty. So I would not use super old ones. If you really want to avoid any problems, I suggest you just use the Duracell batteries.